inspire and encourage overcomers to live each day with joy, gratitude, and grit. Good morning, guys. It's been a busy morning. Good morning. Well, I just got back from a walk with Harry because he wanted to go outside and he's never been successful <laughs> at walking on his leash and he did it today. Mary sent me the video and I just laughed <laughs> because he's such a like, He's a silly cat he and he does love to be outside and I was so surprised that he actually walked. Cause yeah. usually when you've put that harness on, he's yeah. like a piece of jello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've had a busy morning getting, this is what we would call a launch day where we launch a new collection on our online store. Here's one of the shirts that we launched today in our fall collection and so I've just been working on back end things of setting up the store so that you guys can go shop. And so if you haven't checked out our fall collection, we're real excited. They're simple and subtle quotes that are meant to inspire you, whatever you're walking through. And what are you working on here? I want to read what I read on our website today. Okay. You read something on our website? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Our passion is to create products that inspire and encourage overcomers to live each day with joy, gratitude, and grit. Yes. Peter, you get an award for that. Well, that's, that's super well said. I, I put into words what we what goes behind the inspiration for each thing we create for the store. Mm -hmm. Like even Mary's paintings, like we hope that they can bring joy and gratitude in whatever you're walking through. And the same is true of our quotes and our shirts and so. Yes, well, speaking of that, this is what I've been working on today. Painting some mini wall jars with flowers. These oh. are still available, right? They are. Oh and guys, I don't think I've showed them the other day I had to get some supplies for our uh, pathway and uh, these mums were on the clearance rack at Lowe's and they didn't look quite as good but they didn't look very bad and so I got them, planted them in this planter and they are just living their best life and I'm loving it. Oh, you have a hair tie? I just heard that bag crinkling. Hi. You got your hair tie? Oh look, he can use the rugs now. When we first put these rugs on the stairs, he was like walking in this little couple inches, but now he learned that he can walk on the stairs. These are just good things happening. Also, Ollie is doing totally 100% perfect after his strange moment of crisis a few days ago. He's doing great. So I figured that he would feel sore after if it was like a partial dislocation type of thing, which is what we suspect. Peter also mentioned what if his leg had fallen asleep and when he got up, it felt different. That's, I guess, possible as well. But when we watched the security footage, we're pretty sure his shoulder like just didn't, it was not right, obviously. Anyway, but he is totally normal. I'm so glad because when he was crying so, so much the other day, it's crazy how like 30 seconds or a minute of crying felt so long to us. Like we just didn't, we felt so helpless, but anyway, 
he's all good now. And I'm very, very thankful. We figure if that were to happen again, or yeah, if it became some sort of a pattern, obviously that would be of much greater concern. Weird things happen to our bodies, to our animals' bodies. Things happen here and there, and there's not always an answer for it, but we will definitely keep an eye on him. All right, I finished my whole sheet of tiny jars of joy. So now I can cut them up, meaning separate them all out, and then I mount them on, mm, what is it, like mounting board? These little black boards. So then they look like this. This one's a cactus, of course, but yeah, that's the process. Tomorrow we are going to care for a couple of our, our friend's children. And so if you see a car seat and a stroller in the back, that's what that's for. We're kind of excited. So I felt really bad to wake Peter up. We, are, we were supposed to leave the house right now, so I had to wake him up. So I told Ollie, <laughs> go find Peter. Go find Peter. And he did, it was so sweet. Mm -hmm. Glad you got to sleep. Got a little day. I, I, I think I was worn out from all the work of getting ready for the launch of our store yeah, stuff. Yeah, that was a lot. So. You done good, kid. Yeah, I'm meeting up with a friend for dinner. I sleep. <laughs> I saw somebody say that this shirt was one of their favorites from the launch and I agree. Mm. I love that. Such simple truth in three words. Mm. Hope changes everything. Oh, and my friend sent me a song that was meaningful to their family during a waiting process, during an adoption in their family. And Peter and I have been listening to it and it's been powerful in our life as well. And I wanna play you part of it. Okay, yes. here it is. It's called Oh Great Vine by Jonathan and Emily Martin, if you wanna to listen to it on YouTube. Cause all things to grow Some may plant and others may water But you cause all things to grow Okay, we are getting ready to go to this outdoor restaurant and I wanted to bring all trace of course so I put them in my zipper pocket back here like just loose like oh no problem I have more where that came from picked it up okay well anyway I was just gonna say who wants to take guesses if I'm gonna crush them when I sit down but I guess the other question is, am I gonna be able to get them out? I'm not bringing a person, so. 
Peter? <laughs> He's jogging back and forth. I was taking our license. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'll keep you updated if the back pocket is a good idea or not. I have a feeling it's not, but it'll work. We had a sweet time meeting up with a friend and walking around downtown. And Mary and I realized that we were enjoying kind of the lights and a little bit of like perfect nights to be outside. And so it felt like there was a little bit of hustle and bustle downtown. But we realized like we'd never gone downtown on a Friday night. Pretty much anywhere, but <laughs> specifically here in Durham. And uh, it was fun to walk around. We got some ice cream and... There were some swings we sat in and swang, swang, swung, talked, and yeah, it was a good night. And now we're back home and Mary and I are both exhausted, winding down for the night. And then we're going to say, as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, buddy. Do you say good night to the people? Any final words? Any final words for the people? You think that sounds really interesting, don't you? Don't forget to laugh every day.